How's it going guys? So in this video, I'm going to explain um, do you really need a game menu on your PCNet business? So in this video, I'm going to, we're going to compare what are the pros and cons of having a game menu and also just using the um, regular desktop. So this one, I bought this uh, table to my friend who, owns a, who sells PCNet stuff. So in this setup, he uses a game menu he uses a game menu, so as you can see here, when someone drops a one peso coin here, so they immediately they are immediately greeted with this menu. So you have your Chrome, your Mozilla, and then online games are they are all organized to this Crossfire, League of Legends, Karina, and PUBG Lite, and then Minecraft, and then Rules of Survival. So you have your land games here; they are all organized. You can see here Battle Realms, and then Red Alert, Thunder Strike, and then other games, single player games, and then mini games, flash games. So, you know, for kids who don't like to play Crossfire or any other games, so they have this mini game section. Same here, flash games, and then Office. So they have the Microsoft Word who wants to do their homework, and PowerPoint and Excel, and VLC. So the pro, uh, what's the, the advantage of having a game menu is that you can easily organize things. You can just put all the online games here and then all the LAN games here and then all the single player g games here. So they don't, they, you don't really have to navigate all that stuff. So the, everything is just organized. But the downside, so let's, I'm gonna talk about the downside of this. Um, because sometimes the online games they tend to upgrade and then for example rules of survival they let out this new update where they request to replace the shortcut button so when you so sometimes gaming use they are locked they are password protected by the man by the buyer by the seller I mean because they don't want anybody editing their game files or whatever so you can make, there's a how-to guide on YouTube how to make your own game menu. Um, because when you open, when you start Windows, it immediately starts up. This f program, it immediately starts up. So you are greeted with this menu. So it's really nice. It's really organized and neat. So depending on how you lay it out, so they, so they put a dark background here. I tried doing a version, I tried following a YouTube tutorial on how to make a game menu and it kind of sucked. I don't know I don't know how to really use it or utilize it, I mean. So, I mean, the downside in using a game menu is that I observed that my customers, they usually, um, they're not familiar with this, so they find it hard. So they keep asking me, where's the Microsoft Word? Where's the Excel and where's the files? Where the where are, are the documents they type or the Excel or the PowerPoint slide um, sli slideshow they made? So the so the difficult part is is that they can't access my computer. So they have to. It's kind of locked. See, they only greeted with this. If you try to access it, it will block you. So they also added like a function where they try to keep the customers only in the game menu. So they can't access the my computer, the documents, and other download files. So they're stuck with this menu. This one. So that's like the downside. And the, on the other hand, I tried experimenting with just using the bare desktops. So you have here, it's a very clean desktop with your basic files. <laughs> So most of the kids here, most of the players, my customers, um, they usually play Rules of Survival, Crossfire, and League of Legends, and Dota 2, and only a few play Counter-Strike. So I only installed what they need. So I installed here the games and uh, also the Microsoft Office, like the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. I think those only the three things that they mostly use. They don't use like Publisher and other stuff. So. Um, in terms of boot time, they're the same, and then this, the in, in this format, they can access my computer, their downloads, and everything. They can edit, 
uh, photos on the internet and then they can have it uh, download on the my documents or my pictures uh, so in conclusion uh, my thoughts is that this is just basic experience guys um, because uh, most of my customers they don't know how to use the game menu so it's like very uh, it's like a learning curve so but but this uh, but the, just the regular desktop with the icons in the start menu they immediately know how to use it so you have everything here you just have to click it and then everything just works <laughs> so guys in conclusion again um, I highly recommend you use this kind of format because game menu it takes time to set up uh, it takes a time it's really good when it works it's it's good when it works but it's really bad when it doesn't so this one it's foolproof it works because you are you are forced to use this kind of setup the desktop one so guys thank you for watching if you have any questions about Bisonet business and the small stuff like the electricity bill the best CPU the best graphics card on what uh, what form factor of CPU to use so just leave a comment down below okay so guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.